Hi, I'm Travis Lazarczyk. And I'm Evan Crawley. We're here for the Kennebec Journal and Morning Sentinel at Mesolowski High School, where Mesolowski is getting ready for the season opening game on Friday night at Coney. Now, Evan, these are two teams that were contenders in the Pine Tree Conference Class B last year. They played twice. Coney won both, once in the regular season in the opening game like this year, and again in the playoffs. Coney graduated some talented players from their state championship team in Ben Lucas and Jonathan Saban, Isaac Gingras. What do the Rams look like now? Uh, the Rams should be solid again this year, Travis. You know, they, they bring back uh, a strong core led by Reed Shostak and Taylor Carrier, right. uh, both fine players in their own right, as well as uh, lineman Elias Eunice. Uh, but uh, what a lot of people will be looking at is how does quarterback Mitchell Karen, who was a defensive starter for them last year, how does he step in and, and play, uh, play a position that, I mean, Ben Lucas was the best right. in the state last year. Sure. And uh, but you know, uh, throughout the whole preseason, Mitchell has said, you know, I'm not Ben Lucas. I, I am who I am, and and, and he's not going to try to be that. Um, a team that certainly knows about having a, a strong quarterback though is Mesolonsky. Right, Mesolonsky returns side. Uh, Jake Dexter, probably one of the better athletes in this conference at quarterback. He got a lot of experience there last year. Doesn't have a couple of his big weapons from last year, and receiver Devin Warren and uh, running back Corey McKenzie graduated. But the Eagles, while they don't have a lot of depth, only about 32 kids in the program, should have the talent to contend this year, and they'll get a good test on this opening night game. All right, when we return, we'll be joined by Mesolonsky head coach Brad Bishop and a few of the Mesolonsky Eagles. Guys, first, tell me about what you've liked out of your own team so far here in the preseason as we get ready for the first game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a uh, pretty uh, pretty close group. I mean, these kids play hard, and, uh, and we got 11 guys that, that can play, fly around a little bit, so I'm no happy about that. What are you expecting out of Coney on uh, Friday night? Expecting a little bit of a fight. Um, I think we got a good enough team. I think we're going there. We'll do pretty good. They've got some different guys from the team this year, obviously, like you guys do as well. Yeah. Did you learn learn anything that maybe you can use in the two games you played against them last year? Yeah. I mean, they're definitely well coached. I mean, they got a lot of skilled guys and got some real good players over there. So, you know, we want to keep the ball as long as we can, limit the big plays because, you know, they can get you on any down, pretty explosive, and uh, uh, so we want to be careful on defense. And just want to play a good game, can't be turning it over against them. Guys, thanks for your time. No yeah. problem, thank you. Okay, Evan, let's look at some other games around the region. We'll start in uh, Western Class D, yeah. where the Winthrop Monmouth team has a big test with Lisbon. Uh, should be a good game. You know, uh, obviously Winthrop and Monmouth are going through a little bit of a transition, going from uh, Joel Stone to Dave St. Hilaire. Right. But, you know, so far from what I've seen, I've been to a few practices, and uh, they seem to be adapting well. But they'll certainly have their hands full with Lisbon. I watched Lisbon uh, scrimmage against Oak Hill last week, and, um, you know, they've got they've got some big bodies, and, and, and they should be, again, I mean, those are two teams that should find themselves in the playoff mix at the, at the season's end. Another new head coach is in Eastern C. We're talking about Waterville, where Matt Gilley takes over for Frank Knight, who coached there for two decades. Uh, the Purple Panthers have a good test in Foxcroft Academy on Saturday afternoon in their season opener. Uh, one of the better regular season games of the year in Eastern C last year when Waterville went to Foxcroft and won 20 to 19 when they stuffed a two point conversion with about two minutes to go in the game. So that should kind of give uh, Gilley and his Panthers a good, t a good test, good idea of where they, they rank. Uh, their running game led by Danny Pooler should be just excellent with the uh, running back and uh, lineman, I should say, Ben Cox, Corey yep. Um This should be a, a good test for the Panthers. Yep. There, there are a number of good games on the schedule this right. week, though, Travis. And, and for more on those, uh, people can log on to centralmain.com or pick up the Kennebec Journal or Morning Sentinel on Friday where we'll have capsules of, of all of our area games. All right, that's it for us from here, and we'll see you guys next week on Gridiron Gurus.